All right, every year as we transition from early fall into late fall and even early winter, we start getting more phone calls from people about why it is that their rangefinder, when they're out in the field hunting, suddenly doesn't work or it dies really quick when they put in a new battery. That has everything to do, unfortunately, with the chemistry of the battery inside the rangefinder reacting to the colder temperatures that you're experiencing and not actually the rangefinder itself. All batteries rely on chemical reactions to work and power the electronics that we have them in. When the temperatures drop, they slow down those chemical reactions and even, depending on how cold it gets, can all out stop those chemical reactions from happening. And thus, the power performance and the electronic performance that we get out of our electronics, not just rangefinders, it can happen to your phone or anything else you have on you out in the field, suffer dramatically. We've seen it time and time again where people will have this issue that their rangefinder continues to die in the field. They'll send it into us thinking it's a warranty issue. And once it arrives to us and it's in our nice warm facility here, we pull it right out of the box and turn it on and it works perfectly fine. But again, that's just because the battery has had the time to warm up and those chemical reactions can get to working again. So what can you do out in the field? It's kind of hard to battle the cold when you're out there. Few things that we would recommend people do is just trying to avoid having your rangefinder dangling out in the bitter cold all on its own. Maybe keep it inside of your jacket between you and your jacket to insulate it somewhat, or at least keep it inside of a bino pouch on your chest if you still need really quick access to it, something to keep it from that really harsh environment right on the outside of you. No, a couple of guys that I work with down in the tech support area, even keep them in their armpits. It's really warm in there. When you actually go to use the rangefinder, of course, and you're holding it in your hand, try to use the rangefinder quickly and efficiently. So that way you can get right back into your jacket or a pocket or somewhere warm, maybe even next to a hand warmer. So that way, again, the battery isn't exposed to the cold nearly as long. So hopefully this helps you when you're out in the field and it really starts to get cold out there. As usual too, we're always happy to help out if you genuinely feel like it is an issue with the rangefinder and you've tried bringing it back into your house or a nice warm car and letting everything come to temperature to test it again. If it still seems to have issues, definitely let us know. Everything we have is covered under the VIP warranty for life and that includes electronics. So even if you do have an electronic issue, way down the road, that's all right, we got you covered. If you have any other questions or comments or anything about rangefinders or other optics as usual, let us know in these comments below. Hit us up on social media, phone, email, whatever you like best, we're happy to help you out there too. Thank you as always for asking these questions, we appreciate it, hopefully you like these videos, let us know if you wanna see any more on any specific topics. Otherwise, we will see you next time and happy hunting out there.